my beauties. I've got a really special reading for you guys. This is a Twin Flame Union um, spread. I've done things a little bit differently. I've used some different cards today and just to kind of switch things up. And the layout is a little bit different. It kind of just came out organically. So I just would ask the question as if you're wondering as um, to how I come up with my spreads. They're mostly intuitive. I've never gone by a book or anything like that that I know of. I mean, it could be like I looked at the book and downloaded it somehow and it inspired me. Um, but most of my spreads are just questions that I want to know and that I ask um, and that's how it comes out. So sometimes I forget my spread <laughs> because it's always different. So however, we've got divine masculine side, divine feminine side. We've got some shadow aspects for both of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Um, I've used these uh, amazing like vampire uh, tarot deck to, to bring out the shadow side and I really like this deck especially for blockages or shadows or things that are not serving you and this is the question that I asked um, you know what is not serving divine feminine etc at this point in time then we also have what is serving you both at this time um, we have just kind of some free-flowing cards as to what your energy is right now um, and then kind of like a little bit of a timeline of what's happening with some Lenormand cards and some tea leaf oracle cards um, as well as we're going to look at how you guys are viewing each other um, what you want each other to know and what you don't want each other to know at this point in time okay we've got a lot of um, repeating cards so um, the chariot comes out again, which came out in the last reading. And the six of wands comes out a couple times. So especially in regards to divine masculine. So definitely feeling um, that the energy is sort of still in, in, you know, still the same as it was um, when we did the reading yesterday, uh, repeating themes, and it's really, really beautiful. So. Um, changed up my senior a little bit and we're in my living room now. Um, so let's take a look at the cards. All right, it's hard to get them all in, but I will, of course, show you the cards as we read it. So first off, let's just uh, look at what is underneath on the bottoms of the decks that I used. Chariot. This is um, the shadow deck that I used. So um, not necessarily meaning that this is a shadow overall energy, but this is just like crowning energy for the um, read. So that chariot card, just like last yesterday's reading, is all about movement forward. Um, victorious movement forward. Also, you know, the duality is coming into a balance as you move forward. And then here we also have the Three of Cups. So this to me is indicating celebration. So movement forward, you know, for celebration is like on the horizon. And then here we have the Ten of Pentacles. So for the ultimate, this is the ultimate joy. I love this card. This is, to me, it's even better than the uh, Ten of Cups just because this shows um, the especially in this deck here, it shows how um, divine masculine and divine feminine are both whole within themselves and they're bringing the same to the table. So it's like equality and partnership. Okay, so first we're going to look at divine feminine here. Um, I have her on this side, divine masculine is on this side. So in her blockage, in what is not serving her at this time, we got... The Six of Grails along with the Queen of Grails. Okay, so Grails in this deck are Cups. So Six of Cups is sort of, it's my soulmate card, what I refer to as the soulmate card or the past lives card. It's the two little children, um, you know, one of them is offering a cup full of flowers, okay? This is also Memories. Um, so together... As a blockage or as what is not serving, I'm, I'm trying to feel, okay, that's what it is. Okay, 
Okay, so the Queen of Grails here is sort of like the psychologist of the deck. Um, so what I'm feeling here as the blockage is you're not um, you're not sure right now or that you need you need help with figuring out your emotions in regards to this connection. So there's, and that's part of your blockage right now. That's not serving you, that you are not secure. You're not emotionally. So, you know, the Queen of Cups would normally be super um, intuitive and super um, emotionally sound and in control of her emotions and um, just very skilled at her emotions, but in the shadow side, this would be that she's not here. So, and then the six of grails would represent some sort of, you know, challenge with that soulmate relationship. So somehow you are not, you're doubting, um, you're not in your full sort of emotional, um, you know, I think that maybe you've withdrawn a little bit emotionally and it's not serving you um, that you've withdrawn maybe the love and some of the other cards are showing this also you've withdrawn so in an effort to sort of scale back which was which was you know which for some of you it was necessary to scale back to a certain degree because there was an obsession or there was um, it was preventing you from coming into your fullest self um, and into your purpose um, but in an effort to do that, I think some of you have scaled back too much and it's about finding this balance. So you, you've been, um, you kind of went into a place of a hundred percent logic and your masculine is feeling this. Okay. Uh, and I've got some other cards here that, that are showing, um, that he's felt that, you with you have withdrawn a little bit he needs you now more than ever he's going through a great amount of change and so it's in your best interest to find that balance for you where you're not over investing your energy but you're still staying in a state of of complete faith okay complete faith in the relationship and emotional I guess mastery okay so not being so back and forth in your thoughts not being so back and forth in your emotions so mastering your emotions regarding this soulmate relationship okay so in your best interest here I've got three Oracle cards that are showing you what is in your highest good during this time so the first one says love generates love you will receive positive confirmation of this in the next few days. Keep on loving and you will keep on receiving even greater blessings in return. So this is telling you, do not hold back your love, okay? In an effort to sort of balance, um, you can, you know, you can balance and do the things that you need to do and focus on yourself, but don't withdraw your love. Don't withdraw that um that just unconditional love space and holding the space for your twin. And then the other card that you got here is cause and effect. And this is saying you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent, is an agent of change and the foundation of a result. So if you're withdrawing love here in your shadow side, if you are not um, mastering your emotions and staying disciplined with those emotions and staying in the state of faith and love in regards to your twin flame, it's affecting. That cause is affecting your masculine. And he's needing, he's needing this unconditional love at this point in time, okay? The next card we have for Divine Feminine um, that is going to serve her highest good. So this, these are messages for Divine Feminine that will help her serve her highest good. This one says, Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. This is exactly what I was saying. Um, in order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so maybe there you've you know tried in an effort to sort of 
pull back your energy and focus on yourself, you've pulled back too much and you've let a little bit of resentment leak in here. You've let a little bit of resentment in regards to your twin flame or doubt and you're not being in this position of the Queen of Cups. You're not showing emotional mastery and love and intuition. You're not listening to your intuition here, okay? So that is in your best interest to sort of keep that love generating because that cause, he's feeling it. It's affecting your masculine. And also, you know, let go of any resentment that you might have, okay? Um, this is going to help you see clearly the connection. And when you are vibrating in that unconditional love space, you open up the pathways. You're standing on top of that mountain waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for this love to happen. And if you keep wavering in your emotions, it's blocking, okay? It's blocking you as a person and it's blocking this whole union. So also here in, um, I pulled a couple of tarot cards we've got for Divine Feminine. We've got the Page of Swords, followed by the Two of Wands, followed by the King of Swords. So these together, so the Page is the very beginning, right? And the King is at the very end. Um, and also Divine Masculine got this on his side as, as far as like embodying the King of Swords at this time. So this is really great news because we've seen in the past that this is something he has struggled to embody is this King of Swords. But we'll get to him in a second. So what this is saying is, you know, that there's, this is sort of like the, the beginning stages for you. Um, there is, I think, a message that is going to be um, clear about your partnership and you're going to get mastery over that is what I'm kind of thinking because here in all of your um, in all of what is struggling you or all of what you're struggling with right now has to do with um, staying in that space of hope and faith for your divine masculine that's kind of who I'm speaking with underneath um, the page of swords We've got this ear card. So this is good news. This is the um, tea leaf card that talks about good news. So the Page of Swords is this message of good news. And then here is this partnership, Two of Wands, and it's talking about this bridge again, which we've gotten in past reads. So it's going to be, you know, you're going to hear good news about the partnership, about overcoming um you know, this problem, overcoming maybe this problem of not um, being able to stay in this love space. And it's also telling me June. So this is giving me like a timeline here. So this progression from the Page of Swords to the King of Swords, um, you know, from kind of a message to being more of action and more of, um, you know, he's actually... This to me is representing the, the, the actual divine masculine here. So this is telling me that there's good news happening about the partnership and you're going to hear something in June. Um, down here we also have um, some Lenormand cards. So first we have, I know you can't really see them, but this is kind of the best angle I could do. Um, first we have the broken mirror. Um, this is the... Four of, what is this? Four of Wands, okay. So Four of Wands would be the, you know, stability card. Uh, it's also indicates to me it's like marriages, it's moving, it's home and, and hearth. Um, it's, to, yeah, it's kind of being, it's like the, the stability that you want to move forward in relationships. It's stability of desire. So here I feel like you got, you got this, okay. So you got the broken mirror. Um, with the four of wands and then you've got the um, birds here with the seven of pentacles seven uh, of diamonds is pentacles and then you've got the um, duel here with this uh, two of wands energy which is um, doubled for you here so this to me is talking about the partnership okay so this is again kind of talking about this wavering 
um, emotion. So to me, I feel like somebody, somebody is going to try to break your illusion. And I think it's going to be like gossiping. You're talking to somebody. The birds are all about gossip. The um, mirror, broken mirror is all about shattering um, a perception. And the um, swords here is like, it's like a duel, right? It's, um, it's a fight. So I feel like somebody is maybe, you know, gossiping or talking to you or trying to tell you, no, this relationship does not make sense because this four of wands is your relationship here. So this, they're telling you, no, let go of this. This is an illusion. And you know better than this, okay? They're telling you, let go. It's not. It's an illusion. You're crazy. Um, you should move on. <laughs> Um, and then here, this is, you know, the gossip and the birds, and this is the seven of pentacles. So they're telling you, yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't invest in this. You should pause and reroute and you should sow your seeds, plant your seeds elsewhere. And, you know, they're gossiping and you're, you're in a fight about this. Okay. You're fighting about this and they're, they're fighting, they're causing drama in your relationship. So this is somebody, an exterior energy or gossip or somebody who is chatting around you or you're in a, a, a confrontation about them and they're trying to put ideas in your head about the relationship and it serves you best to stand up for this because this, this is just gossip, okay? This is just gossip in regards to your relationship. So... You are going to hear good news, though, because we've got the good news coming um, about something that you're overcoming in regards to your relationship in June, that there's going to be progression here from the Page of Swords to the King of Swords and a progression of crossing over that bridge um, in June. So that's really, really nice news. Over here on the masculine side, in the position of what is not serving him well at this time, so he got the Magician along with the uh, Lord of Knives. So this is um, King of Swords, okay? So to me, I mean, the magician he got, um, again, too, um, somewhere in this spread, but to, in the position of what is not serving him, I feel like what this is saying is that he needs, he, he cannot rush this. Okay, he's going through this transformation. He's manifesting things. He's coming like all of the cards here are showing that he's coming to a greater consciousness that he is um, he's elevating his vibration, his frequency, and he's really doing a lot of work and he's he's using all of the tools and all of the resources that he has but there might be this tendency to like rush in as the knight in shining armor and before it's ready, before it's ready to manifest. So in that position, it serves him well to wait and hear um, what he got in this, um, what's serving him well. This says, um, this one says, I am so grateful for you. This is, this is for you, Divine Feminine. This is a message from Divine Masculine to you. It says, I am so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without condition. Life is an endless flow of blessing, blessings because of your great love. He's asking for this love that you might have been holding back. And he's appreciative of it. And he understands what you're doing. But he's also giving you the okay that it's okay. You know, giving you the encouragement to continue on, I guess, is what I wanted to say. That he's, be, he's grateful. He's in gratitude. Um, so that's what's serving him right now is to be in gratitude of your love, of your unconditional love, without conditions. And it's also serving him right now to have vision. So not to rush in, but to hold the vision. Um, there's a lot that is manifesting. There's a lot in the works. And it's important to um, allow things to unfold in divine timing and to not rush it. This says no matter what, no matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. Okay, so he needs to, um, it serves him best to see the big picture, to see the overall vision as opposed to rushing in before things are ready to, you know, before things are completely manifested. Um, and then here, what serves him best is, 
This one says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So he might be feeling here um, in this shadow, in this, in what's not serving well, to make rush, rash decisions, um, to make things happen, you know, to make it happen, um, to force things to happen in, because this is the way they should be. So this could be regard, in regards to sort of planning things for his divine feminine and there's this warning here that basically is telling you don't make these decisions based on, um, you know, anything but what's in your highest good. These decisions need to be made with love and in your true, um, into your true self. There's there are a couple cards here that are showing um, that divine masculine is having a transformation. Um, that he, so here he's got the magician twice. I'll just pull this one out also because, um, we'll talk about it later, but he's got the magician twice, which is the number one, which is that, um, it's that self. Okay. So there is something he's working on himself right now. And so this card is telling him, that he needs to make sure he's being true to himself and that all his decisions are being are, are based on his true self, on his true nature, on what he really, really wants, um, and not to rush in, um, cutting things away and fighting, um, to be in a state of vision and reflection and looking at what's going to be best for everybody overall, okay? So also here, he's got um, some cards that I pulled, some tarot cards. He has got the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and this Victory card, which we've been getting a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. Um, I've been getting this in readings as, and it's been the marker, so the Six of Wands has been the marker of its time now. So it's really interesting. Um, it's kind of been, I feel like when I get this card again, um, after some time, time has passed, this is showing his victory from this transformation that is happening right now. So this is like foreshadowing of what's to come. So here, I mean, these, these cards kind of have different meanings. This, sometimes, this is, to me, this is like the single energies. For me, this is the single female energy. This is a single male energy. But both, that's not necessarily what it's saying to me right now. It's saying that um, he is in the process of becoming um, so whole that all he needs is that extra cup from you or that extra pentacle from you so that you guys can make the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is what it's saying to me. He's getting ready for this partnership. He's, he's becoming... Um, He's building himself to get to this point so that he can be victorious and make that declaration. I'm ready now. I'm ready for you, my love. Thank you for all of your, you know, commitment. And I'm ready, you know, to put you on my horse and ride off into the sunset. I know that's kind of, you know, corny or whatever. But <laughs> this is this is what it's saying to me, that he's getting to this point of being whole and complete within himself both financially and being able to give and receive love and being able to um, be in this position of having you not complete him because you guys have to be complete within yourselves, right? But but that, you know, that idea of being ready for um, the relationship, being ready for the union. So we've got some tea leaf oracle cards here. Oh, I did want to mention... Oh, I'll mention it in a sec at the end. Okay, we've got some oracle tea leaf cards. We've got this happiness um, with the sun and the birds. We've got this tent here, which means it's a temporary solution uh, or a temporary situation, I'm sorry. And then we've got the peacock, which um, in some cases it means pride or ego, which I do think that, um, you know, both divine feminine and divine masculine are breaking down the walls of ego because that will simply not work in their relationship, right? The, you know, 
that would not serve them. They're definitely going to have to be thinking of each other and, you know, embodying this Ten of Pentacles kind of situation. Um, so for me, um, this peacock is sort of exemplifying um, this Nine of Pentacles energy. Is not that that not that it's um, not that it's in the position of him being too egoic, but um, to you know to have pride, um, to feel proud of himself for his growth is kind of what I'm feeling because this is a temporary situation. This there's a transformation happening, and it's a temporary situation, and it seems like it's. It's on the brink. The, the momentum is quickly, it's quickly happening here with this chariot card. Okay. Um, here we've got the, um, the sun card with the Lenormand. We've got the sun card. Um, we've got the, I think this is the lily, the lily card. And um, we've got the anchor. Okay. So the sun card is the, also the ace of pentacles. Um, so this is, he, he got it over here also in reverse, but this is obviously, um, bringing things to light, illuminating, illuminating the situation, um, truths. So anything that was in, you know, that moon energy or in that secretive energy or in the darkness, this is like shedding light on the whole situation. And then that ace of pentacles is that offering to go, I'll show you in this card right now, it's in reverse um, for that other position, but this is sort of the same thing. So this came out twice, once in, in reverse, but here it's, it's you know, it's showing being ready, offering of himself so that you guys can go through this portal together. So illuminating the situation, um, here he's showing himself as the king, the, the, um, Lily is the virtuous. This is virtue. And he's showing himself as the king of swords here. So he's telling the truth. He's he's being true to himself, right? So this one encouraged him to be true to himself. And look, it was it it's a beautiful masculine angel. Um so something is coming to light here where he's finally going to be cutting through some things and doing the right thing and becoming virtuous and um, embodying that king of swords, which we've seen in the past that has been part of the blockage. Um, and then he also got it with this um, anchor card, which is goals. The anchor is grounding. The anchor is achieving the goals that he has wanted to achieve. Um, and then here he's got the what is this? The nine of swords. So the spades are swords. Nine of swords energy with this anchor. So coming out of that nine of swords is that anxiety, right? So as he is um, changing and manifesting and acting as the magician and in that sort of one numerology, numerology working on himself, working on his highest truth, working on... Um, his consciousness. Um, he is seeing, he is being, being freed from this anxiety as he starts to meet his goals, as he starts to use his resources to um, become this king of swords. So really good. Also nines, he got several nines over here um, with the nine of cups and the nine of um, the nine of pentacles. And then here he has the nine of swords. So nines are all about, um, like a change of consciousness. Okay. So that is, he is working on himself and he is, he is, you know, like I said before, he's coming to a higher vibration. He is changing his consciousness. He is becoming more aware, um, aware of his decisions and how they affect other people and, you know, the vision and, and how not to be hasty and how not to be so, um, I guess like acting in, um, in a negative, I, I guess just making rash decisions is what I want to say and not looking at the full picture. So he's coming to all of this, um, awareness. So this is really, really good energy over here. We've got kind of like how you guys are sort of seeing each other. So, um, divine masculine is seeing divine feminine as the hermit card right now. 
Um, oh, I did want to say, this is kind of funny too, because um, here with the nine of swords energy in the anchor, sometimes this, re this is referring to a um, male, um, so it's some divine masculine sign, somebody who has tattoos. So I don't know if that's significant to you. So this is, could be resonating specifically with somebody who has tattoos. Um, here in the way he's seeing you is the hermit. Um, so he's seeing you a little withdrawn that you've held back. Um, you've held back and some of you may have pulled back too much to where you're not um, you're not in the feminine energy at all, which is which is that nurturing sort of energy. Um, you know, that's what we're called upon as divine feminists is to hold the energy in our womb, hold space in our womb until it's ready to give birth. So he's seeing you as, you know, withdrawn a little bit, but not necessarily a bad thing. He's seeing you as sort of gaining um, knowledge and being introverted and maybe reflecting on things um, a little bit, but definitely a, a withdrawn state. And... So that's the way he's seeing you. The way you're seeing him is this magician card, okay? So the magician, um, you're seeing him as the one. So basically he is working on himself, uh, kind of like, even though this isn't the Aries card per se, but that type of Aries energy where they are, um, it's, it's all about the self here. But, you know, he's using his resources, he's using his tools. He is generating a different consciousness here. So he's pulling in these messages from above and he's grounding them and he's utilizing them and he's allowing these things to change him. And this is why it's so important, Divine Feminine, to not withdraw your love at this time. He is, it's almost like, you know, if you're birthing, I hate to, this is kind of a weird analogy, but it came to my mind, so I'm going to say it. They wanted me to say it. So it's like if you're birthing a baby or you're birthing, not the divine masculine is a baby, but you're birthing something, the idea of birthing something and you're holding it within your womb and there's a transformation happening and it's really important that all of the uh, nutrition and the, um, you know, all of that nurturing is available for this transformation because it's going to affect the way that they transform. Does that make sense? I don't know. So that was the analogy that was told to me right now, but um, definitely you're seeing him as transforming with um, this magician, you know, manifesting and transforming himself. So what you are wanting him to know right now is this page of swords energy. So this has to do, we had this over here for you as well. This is sort of double. Um, this, this is sort of like, you know, messages of love. So I think you're wanting him to know, um, Sorry, that's not true. I, that's because on the um, on the, what you didn't want him to know is um, the the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you're withholding messages here. Okay. So what you do want him to know is that you're trying to think logically about the situation. You are trying to gain the birds. Is like um, you you know you're you're talking about it. You're thinking about it, but. I'm not sure if that's serving you very well because here we've got these, you know, we had this weird energy about somebody trying to talk you down um, from your relationship. So you do want him to know that you are, you know, sorting things out. And what you do not, oh, sorry, what he wants you to know is this victory card, okay? So he wants you to know that he is coming to victory. He had it over here as well. He's coming to victory. What you don't, do not want him to know is this Ace of Cups. So somehow you're withholding that love. You're like wanting to be in this more logic, um, you know, maybe logical messages for, but not messages of love. So you might want to be sort of communicating with him or reaching out to him or, um, you know, talking to him about things that are more, logical or more light or more chitty chitter chatter that kind of thing which is okay and but you're what you don't want to you don't want him to know that you you know love him and or that you don't want to portray this right now you're pulling back on this emotional space that is the in the position of what you don't want him to know
what he doesn't want you to know is this ace of pentacles right now so a couple of things that are coming to mind here um because we've had um in the past in the divine masculine readings some issues with finances we, we've had like the four of pentacles come out and with the with the devil card that kind of thing so this to this is talking about upside down and finances so maybe he doesn't want you to know that he's upside down in some way financially or that he's upside down um like in the way in the way he's working like he's working too much or you know some something like that could be for some of you um but also this could also be he's not ready right so he doesn't really want you to know that he's not um going to give you this yet um he doesn't it's like he doesn't want you to know that he is or he isn't that's kind of the so he's he's withdrawing you're withdrawing the love right now and he's withdrawing that manifestation but i think this is serving him well right because i feel like he um might have the tendency to sort of want to rush things and make you know decisions um to get things ready and they will in the end not be what's in the best interest for everyone it might get you to union quicker but it's not going to long term create a sustainable situation where there is love um cuz there's probably a lot of you know moving parts happening in order for all this to to happen i mean there's a reason there's separation um and this doesn't necessarily have to be for people who are separated but i think the majority of the viewers are um twins in separation so um yeah, there's a reason that you're in separation right now and a lot of it um a lot of things will have to come into play in order to you know come into union. I'm trying to think if I left anything out here. Um I think that was all I wanted to say. I was sitting here and I had so many thoughts coming through but um yeah, so all in all um there is that forward momentum that's coming coming still uh with that chariot card that victorious um energy moving forward um divine masculine has got the 6 of wands happening here this energy where he wants you to know that he is tackling things he is going to be victorious and he's going to get he's getting ready for you he's manifesting himself he's changing his consciousness he's he's raising his vibration he's he's acting as the king of swords um he's acting virtuous he's planning on his goals and every time he hits those goals um it starts to free him from anxiety and can he can see things lifting divine feminine i mean i feel like this is more for you to if if you're one of those divine feminines that um hold back too much um you know in your state you're kind of you know you you pulled back too much and you ended up cutting off that love energy that you haven't been feeling it so maybe divine feminine you'll know who I'm if I'm talking to you you'll know you normally cuz I'm picking up on what that feeling is it just feels blocked here so I feel like divine feminine you have been you you pulled away for your own good it's good it's good for you it's good for you to have pulled back a little bit not obsessed about it not thought of him 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 what is he doing he he doing he doing you're thinking about yourself this is very important you're focusing on yourself but you also in that process you shut down here a little bit and you're thinking very logically and you've pulled back on that nurturing energy you know like now i'm getting it i think some of you as i'm talking to you right now you're feeling it so yes that really warm hearted energy sit in meditation and give that to your divine masculine nurture this birthing process this is you know this is raising your vibration this is putting you at a level where you're going to be able to manifest your desires if you are teetering in your emotion and you you have not mastered staying in that love space staying in that energy of nurturing and support while you're doing your own thing that is something that is being called upon you because 
that cause and effect here, okay? So what you do is affecting your union. This is something you want. You create it through this vortex of how you are feeling. So you imagine what that feeling is and you stay in that feeling, you stay in that vibration, okay? That is the counsel for you. Also, don't let anybody talk you out of it. Don't let anybody talk you down. If you know in your heart, this is your twin, this is your calling, um, then that's what you know, you know, and don't let anybody tell you that it's just an illusion, that it's, you know, whatever, you will be able, people will, will say what they want to say, and, you know, sometimes the cards will read energies in a certain way, and you can, you can try it on, you know, you can listen, you can see, hey, does that fit, and then if it doesn't fit, throw it away. You know, ultimately, you're your own guru. It's, it's good to get different perspectives, and it's good when you're confused to, you know, try to gain clarity. This is really important. I do it. We all do it, okay? But if something is not fitting with you, don't let it bring that vibration down. Throw it away. Just say, that wasn't for me. That's fine, okay? All right. Okay, so hopefully this was... Um, this resonated with some of you, and that's um, that was the goal, right? To to send the message and those who are ready to receive it and wanted to receive it, and if it fit and it resonated, then beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. If you um, you know if you have any questions and you want a reading and you want more clarity and you're feeling like you're in a place of anxiety, um, do click on the description or click on the link in the description box below and you can go to my page where it shows the different things that I offer. Okay. It's, um, it's really wonderful to connect with you all and to be part of this community. And I just want to say thank you so much again, please like, please share, please subscribe and follow me on my Instagram. Oh, I did want to say, go over to the Instagram page. Um, I think I have a, a, a little click in the homepage of the YouTube. So if you go follow me, I have a special for my Instagram followers, okay? Because I'm trying to build that up. The special is, it's $50 for a Skype session. So normally it's 99. So $50 for a Skype session. It's gonna be a little bit shorter, but it's for um, Instagram followers. So what you would do then is you just message me on Instagram and I would set you up that way because the shopping cart um, down below will not feature that. Okay. So that's special for my, um, followers on Instagram. All right. Thank you so much. Love you. I love you all. I love you all so much. And I will see you back later in the week.